You'll especially want to watch western and parts of northern Iowa as well. We'll talk about that here in just a second. But through the next few hours, just partly to mostly cloudy skies, temperatures will warm up very quickly from the 60s and to the upper 70s by 11. 83, that is the forecast high today before those isolated to scattered showers and storms develop later on this afternoon. We're going to be watching a couple of features to bring us those showers and storms. There's a front in the parts of the Dakotas and Minnesota that'll be moving south later on today. And then these clouds that you see across parts of Kansas and Nebraska are associated with this upper low that you see to the south of Denver, Colorado. That will be moving to the east through the day tomorrow. And so between that front and then that system there, uh, those are the two features that will be bringing us more beneficial rainfall. But not until the afternoon hours, though. You can see we're partly to mostly cloudy as temperatures warm back into the lower 80s later on today. Uh, parts of western and southern Iowa may stay in the upper 70s as these locations will see more cloud cover first. But then as we move into the peak heating hours, you start to see a few of those isolated showers and storms forming out to the west. Pay attention up here to the north, though, along the Iowa-Minnesota border. As that front gets a little bit closer later on this evening around sunset, more broken line of showers and storms along the Highway 18 corridor, and then more showers and storms developing west of 35 as that second system begins to approach. Overnight, we see the rain chances in the highest concentration of that shift to more of central and southern Iowa. So we'll likely see quite a bit of rain tomorrow morning from Highway 20 and 30 down to the south toward the Iowa Minnesota border or Iowa Missouri border. And as that low continues to track right along the state line tomorrow, that's where we'll likely see most of the heaviest rainfall with this event occur until that system pulls away Tuesday morning. Clouds linger through most of the day Tuesday before we see some clearing and then we'll work our way back up into the lower 70s. Rainfall amounts with this system will range anywhere between a quarter to a half an inch up to the north. Again, the lighter amounts are off to the north because this is just where we're not going to see as long of a duration for rainfall, but right around the Des Moines metro area between a half an inch to one inch and then southern Iowa could see some spots of one to two inches. Again, those amounts will vary depending on where those heaviest thunderstorms track. Once that system pulls to the east on Tuesday, we get a little push of drier air in between our next storm system that's coming in from the Dakotas and that will ramp up our rain chances Wednesday into Thursday starting out to the west Wednesday afternoon at around a 40% before those chances increase again on Thursday afternoon. So several rounds of beneficial rainfall on the way this week and with that our temperatures do drop off tomorrow. We're at 83 degrees today 69 tomorrow with the best rain chances over central and southern Iowa 72 coming up on Tuesday then new thunderstorms develop Wednesday afternoon in western parts of the state 40 to 50% chance on Wednesday and Thursday before we warm it up by the end of the week.